But let's move over to uh, the NFL right quick because uh, okay. we've already been at this for 47 minutes now. Uh, the Honey Badger is signing with the New Orleans Saints. He is headed back home. And first off, this is a, a feel-good story anyway, right? I mean, he's from Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, going back down, you know, played his college ball at LSU. Uh, that's where everybody learned about the Honey Badger. He was awesome. He was from in, New Orleans. I mean, he was, yeah. he was one of those New Orleans kids. Oh, yeah. No, he, he was awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, uh, I don't know that uh, – here we go. Here we go. Dill is now in place. Uh, Three-year, $33 million contract includes $18 million fully guaranteed. Language still needs to be finalized. Dill signed, but Matthew is returning home to New Orleans. $33 million, pretty good. Uh, Saints defense has been pretty good for the last however many years, and obviously – They've got a coaching change and everything going on this year. But, uh, I mean, if you're the Saints, I don't know that you could have asked for anything better to, to make the hometown fans feel better than to bring in Honey Badger again, right? I, I, I think yep. this is great. No, this is going over pretty big um, down, in, down in the bayou. And uh, and I, I, I like this deal because I, I love Tyrod. I mean, outside of Joe, he's, he, he's a favorite football player I've ever seen. And I really – Think about it, man. Think about what we were robbed of. We really only got one year of him. Yeah. yeah. Think about all the highlight reels that he reels off that you could put out there right now, and that is like 13 games, 14 games. Yeah, uh, 14 games. That's it. 14 games in that 2011 season. I mean, that was a and He's got an entire season. college career highlight. Oh, I mean, yeah. He, he, the, he, he's the biggest what if in, in, all, the, in all of college. Uh, sports, in my opinion, um, and, and that whole able to go home is think incredible. think about what he what he did. And so he got kicked off of the team for uh, failed drug tests, and, marijuana, <laughs> and that stuff. Like nowadays, I mean, that would just be swept under the rug. I mean, they, they marijuana. Could look, they almost changed the NCAA rules because of that, like because of that one player, and uh, is now legal in New Orleans. In yeah. Baton Rouge, in Louisiana, and 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 not too too long ago, the greatest player to ever step foot in LSU's campus before Joe Burrow was thrown off the team for smoking pot. You got it. You got it. Now we'll say this was not a one time thing. Like <laughs> oh, no, 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 it never is. But, it never but is. at the end of the day, it's still damn pot. Exactly. I mean, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's so ridiculous to look back at it now. 365 days a week, so he gets caught 365 times. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's still weed. Exactly. Man, and looking looking back at it now, Jesus. I mean, that was that was 11 years ago. Uh, when, no, I guess it was 10 years ago when that went down. And it, it, 10 years seems like a lifetime with as progressive as this country has gotten when it comes to marijuana use. I mean, it's really insane. But it's also the same that thing when you look at Ole Miss and uh, and everything that that football program went through. Uh, when it comes to, like, NIL now, and all this stuff is just out in the open and everybody can do whatever they want to, like, it's so weird to look at. Hang on. Out, outside of the, all I hope for is we can get rid of the, the $100 gym shorts, okay? When, <laughs> when that one guy supposedly, like, worked at a store with our own business who sells Ole Miss apparel, and he supposedly gave away like twenty two hundred dollars worth of stuff, and the guy got out of there with like five shirts and some like shorts. And I was like, "What in the heck? What, <laughs> what are we doing?" <laughs> what are we doing? And I went and looked it up. I was like, "This this can't make sense." And I, I remember saw, us like, looking that basketball up. Basketball yeah. gym shorts were like eighty two dollars, <laughs> and I was like, "Is this a bullshit bobo ass gym shorts for eighty two dollars?" That's when the old band came out of me. Oh, I know. I remember us looking that I stuff ready, up. I was ready to fight somebody at that time. I was I was more mad about that. I had you all upset, calling them cheaters. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm, I'm mad about the $82 for some damn gym shorts. Oh, the whole thing was crazy. Just crazy. That was rebel rags. Paying $82 yeah. for gym shorts. I wanted those people to go out of business. It was crazy. I mean, you, you look at it now, and it's, I mean, it, all that kind of stuff still costs the same. You toss a, a team's logo on it, and then you've got whatever the brand is. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be eighty two dollars for gym shorts. Like it's stupid, but that's ridiculous. It is, uh, but uh, you're not allowed. Yeah, yeah I, and I love my school. I ain't paying it. You know what I will pay? I find some kids selling some bootleg gear, and it might not be officially licensed, 
but it's going to be cool. He's got creativity, and, uh, and I'm going to give that guy my money. There you go. You pay $20 for a T-shirt. That'll be all right. That's right. That's, that's not too crazy. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.